Okay, if you have a thematic layer, meaning you have a polygon layer and you want to clip a whole bunch of polygons by a polygon, this is the method you would use. If you have a raster layer, then you use a totally different method. But I have a layer here that is just a whole bunch of um, polygons that all have different attributes and we can look at those uh, individual attributes for each one of those polygons in the table, etc., etc. Um, so I have my thematic layer and I have this boundary that I want to clip everything by and then I'll calculate the percent area of the vegetation that is in this defined oops, area. Okay, so I want to look at all the vegetation in that. Ooh, that's an ugly color. We're going to turn that black. Okay, that's my cookie cutter. All right, so I'm going to come to Arc Toolbox, and I'm going to go to it. Analysis Tools, and I'm going to open up Extract and Clip. And my input features are my vegetation, my clipped features is my polygon that I want to clip it out by, and then I'm going to save it somewhere, wherever you want to save it, go ahead, and you click OK. And it will calculate and clip all these little polygons to my shape file. So, I now have a attribute table that has all of the vegetation attributes and it has already calculated the area for each individual vegetation polygon within that uh, boundary that I set. Well this is calculated in meters and say I want it in square kilometers. Well what you can do is you can actually add a field and we're going to call it a double type and I'm going to name it square kilometers, something like that. Click OK. And then I am going to, for the whole column, uh, do some calculate geometry. And I only need to bring this up as I right clicked on the column. I'm going to select area. You can select other, other items, but we're going for area. It needs to have a coordinate system or else it won't work, and that coordinate system has to be a Cartesian coordinate system. And then we're going to say kilometers and click OK. And it is now calculated square kilometers for every single one of my polygons. Well, but I don't want every single polygon. I want it actually summarized by um, my categories that are within this layer. So what I'm going to do again is right click on this whole column and bring up this lovely tool called Summarize. And what it's going to do is say summarize by each unique uh, category that I have in my name column. And I'm going to scroll down to where we calculated the square kilometers. And I'm going to say give me the sum. And then I'm going to specify where to save my DBF file. And I'm going to click OK and add it here so we can see it really quickly. And I open it up. So it summarized all the bogs and mires, the established forests, and what have you, in square kilometers. Well now let's say I want, within this table, I want to actually know the percent of this, the, the area rather than the raw square kilometer. So I can either bring up a calculator, I can export this whole list into Excel, or I can do some dirty and quick calculations right here in ArcGIS. Oops. So I'm going to highlight on the column and I'm going to say give me some statistics. And one of those things is the sum. So this is the sum of all of these numbers here. So it's 284 square kilometer area polygon that I have created. Okay, keeping that in mind, 284, I can then add a new field and we're going to call it percent and I'm going to call it a double as well. And I'm going to go and now I'm going to do a field calculate. And I'm going to take the sum square kilometer and I'm going to divide by 284 and put that in uh, brackets and then multiply by 100. 
Mm -hmm. And this is the Myers percent. So bogs and Myers make up 13% of my landscape, and established forests make up 50%, 51%, young forests is 18%. So that's how you do it.